start of our believers week as we 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 we, we continue on the, the theme serving together with discipline courage and hope brothers and sisters indeed god is good and as we get ourselves ready in this fashion and in this mode i want to greet everybody and welcome everybody i see somebody uh messaging um, and saying that they are tuned in all the way from usa we want to give god thanks that we are touching lives across the country and across the world and indeed god is good i want to welcome everyone those who have joined us from the Glen Devon Church, from the Salt Spring Church, from the Cornwall Coach Church, and those who are here as well from the church in Lilliput. Brothers and sisters, my name is Reverend Howard Nelson. And tonight I will seek to guide the process as we continue to worship the Lord um, together in the beauty of holiness. I want to give God thanks for all the ministers and the district, our district overseer, Bishop Powell, and we want to welcome as well Reverend Paulette Powell and also Reverend Carl Wisdom, who is here with us, and all the members who are joining with us and visitors, brothers and sisters. We are in for a great time in the Lord. I'm going to ask you to utilize all the mechanisms ha we have to communicate with each other as we worship together in the beauty of holiness. As we continue tonight, we are going into a time of praise and worship. And at this time, we are going to be, be tuned in by our district praise team who will lead us in this process in a time of praise and worship. Let us prepare our hearts. And I ask you to join in, clap, sing, dance right where you are as a district praise team lead us in this time of praise. Hallelujah, come on somebody just worship God with me tonight. I am so excited. It's the beginning of our believers week and we are going to enjoy the presence of the Lord in the house tonight. Wherever you are, just lift up holy hands. Just lift up holy hands and call the name of Jesus. He is worthy, he is worthy. And I can assure you, we are going to have a wonderful week this week. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let's give him some praise. He's worthy. When Israel out of bondage came, I see before them lay. The Lord reached down his mighty hand and rolled the sea away. Then forward still to Jehovah's will, though the billows dash and spray. With the concrete tread we will push ahead, he'll roll the sea away. Then forward still to Jehovah's will, though the billows dash and spray. With the concrete tread, we will push ahead, he roll the sea We're going forward, forward still to Jehovah's will, though the billows dash and spray. Sea away, not God, he rolled the sea away. Hey, he rolled the sea away. 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 Hey, he rolled the sea away. He rolled the sea away. Well, Mr. Rojan and Rojan and Hallelujah, come on somebody just worship God with me tonight. I am so excited. Oh. 
Come on, somebody. Help me. Help me. Shout the name of Jesus. He's going to roll. Oh, he's going to roll. He's going to roll. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey. He's going to roll. He's going to roll. He's going to roll. Hallelujah. We're going forward. We're going forward. And this week, uh, this week, uh, this believer's week, we're going forward in uh, the name of Jesus. Somebody bless the Lord with me. Somebody shout the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Good God Almighty. Yay. Hey, let us keep him the spirit of worship as I now turn over to our evening's moderator. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory, glory, glory. Brothers and sisters, he rolled the sea away. Hey, hallelujah. We know that he will roll it away and we, we just want to worship God. I don't care where you are. Just take some time and give God some praise because he is worthy to be praised. Oh, hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. Oh, God is a good God. Ah, he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Somebody worship his holy name. Magnify his holy name. Our God is God, hallelujah, what a mighty God we serve, my God. I think we could just listen and worship some more uh, in the presence of the Lord. We wish that the praise team could have sung some more so we can magnify his holy name. I, God, I, I don't know about you, you know, I don't know about you, you know, but Reverend Powell, uh, Bishop Powell had us waiting, you know, man. For the church to open up, you know, so we can gather together again and we can Hallelujah. jump and we can shout. What with all the problems and the pain and all the things that we are facing. But when we come into the presence of the Almighty God and when we, we join together from everywhere and we start to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And when brethren start to worship together, my God. Oh, it, it, it's, it's an awesome time. It's a rich place. Uh, it's a wonderful thing when brethren can come together and worship the King of Kings in one place. Oh, we are looking forward to that time when we will magnify the name of the Lord together again. Indeed, God is good. We want to give God thanks for that time of praise and worship that we have just experienced and we know that the, the presence of the Lord is with us. And as we continue tonight, we will go in the presence of the Almighty God. He is our good God. At this time, we'll be going into our devotional exercise and uh, we'll be inviting um, Lilliput New Testament Church to bring to us our devotional hymn for tonight. And right after which we would have the reading of the scripture by Sister Mito. And, and, and we, will, we will worship the Lord together as, as uh, after the, the, the devotional hymn, then Sister Mito Daly will come and will read tonight's scripture. Then our Reverend Paulette Powell will open us in prayer tonight. Hallelujah. Lilliput New Testament at this time with our devotional here. Tonight's hymn will be taken from hymn 131, Holy, Holy, Holy. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, Oh, me. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give God thanks tonight. Sister Mito daily at this time with our scripture reading. Good night, everyone. Our scripture reading tonight will be taken from Nehemiah chapter 4, reading from verse 6 to verse 17 and then verse 21. Here begins. So built we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof for the people had a mind to work. But it came to pass that when Sambalat and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped, then they were very wroth and conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. And Judas said, the strength of the bearers of burdens is decayed and there is much rubbish so that we are not able to build the wall. And our adversaries said, they shall not know by the sea till we come in the midst among them and slay them and cause the work to cease. And it came to pass that when the Jews which dwelt by them came, it said unto us 10 times, from all places whence ye shall return unto us, they will be upon you. Therefore set I in the lower places behind the wall and on the higher places. I even set the people after their families with their swords, their spears and their bows. And I looked and rose up and said unto the nobles and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, be not ye afraid of them. Remember the Lord, which is great and terrible, and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your house. And it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us, and God had brought their counsel to naught, that we returned, all of us, to the wall, everyone unto his work. And it came to pass from that time forth, that the half of my servants wrought in the work, and the other half of them held the bow, the spear, the shields, and the bows, and the harbor guns, and the rulers were behind all the house of Judah. They which built on the wall, and they that their burdens with those that laid it. Everyone with one of his hands wrought in the work, and with the other hand held a weapon. Verse 21 and last. So we labored in the work, and half of them held the spears from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared. Here ended a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. I invite at this time Reverend Paulette Powell, who will come and will pray our opening prayer. Reverend Powell. Heavenly Father, we come to you this evening. O oh Lord, our God, you are worthy 
of our praises this evening. You are the Lord God Almighty who never fails. You remain stable because from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You are the good shepherd. Lord, we have come to worship you this evening. Lord, you are so great. And because of that, we come bowing down before you and giving you praise and adoration. Lord, you promise that you will be with us. Lord, when we gather in twos and in trees, Lord, we are much more this evening. And so we are quite aware that your presence is here with us. Lord, we pray that you will bless us on this virtual platform. Lord, we pray that as we worship from our several separate places, Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit, oh God, will minister to every heart, to every soul. Lord, we pray that our spirits will be inspired, oh God. Lord, we pray this evening for the activities. Lord, we pray that it will be spirit-filled. Lord, we pray, pray for our moderator. We pray that you will inspire him. Lord, we pray for our night speaker. Lord, we pray that you will give him a word. Oh God, a word that will reach the heart of every believer. Oh God, on this platform. Lord, we pray that at the end of this evening's service, oh God, we can all say that our hearts, oh God, that they were truly challenged, Lord, by the spirit of almighty God. Lord, we pray that this evening, uh, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will minister to us and so that none of us will remain the same, but that there will be a great transformation, oh God, to every heart, to every worshiper, oh glory to God. Lord, as we come together, Lord, as we join our hearts together, Lord, we pray that there will be a change in us. Lord, we pray, dear Father, that, there, that our spirit will be rejuvenated, Lord, and that we will worship you in a new and different way. Lord, we pray that we will experience you in a real way this evening, oh God, that our hearts will be touched, Lord, and that we will never be the same again, that our churches will never be the same again, because you, oh God, will speak to us in an unusual way. To you, we give all the honor and all the glory and all the majesty and power. Oh God, we look to you, oh God, that you are going to bless us. We tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We, we give God thanks and we, we give God thanks for all those who have participated thus far. We give God thanks for his goodness and his mercies towards us as we thank the Lord, as he continues to lead us and to carry us through. Amen? Amen. God is a good God, and he is worthy to be praised. Brothers and sisters, as we continue to magnify the name of the Lord and to worship him tonight, in, in this time, as we, 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 we seek to, to worship the Lord, as we go into this Believer's Week, I want to, us to... Put our hands together right where we are, where we are, all over the place, as we welcome and invite our district overseer, Bishop Powell, to come at this time and to bring us welcome and to declare our Believers Week opened um, tonight. So we invite our district overseer, Bishop Powell, at this time. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Reverend Nelson. To God be the glory. Oh, how 
pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. What a joy it is for us as believers to come together on these different platforms virtually to magnify and to celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of all Lords. COVID-19 would have thought that it has put a, a target in the barrel of the church, but we come by to declare that Jesus Christ is alive and well, and we see the word of Jesus Christ being fulfilled, that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. So no matter what comes, the church is still alive and well, and you can unmute your mic for, mic for two seconds and just shout a praise unto Almighty God as we declare the sovereignty of Almighty God and the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. We are unable. Am I still muted? If you're hearing me, just indicate. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm hearing you, Rev. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Can you imagine if we were together in one place? But you know what happened? We are reaching hundreds of people. We have over 100 online between YouTube and Zoom. The last time I checked, the last time, which was about five, 10 minutes ago, there were over 86, 87 on Zoom and some 43 on YouTube. I have not checked since then, but I would want to imagine that would have gone way above that by now. The task is mine this evening, my brothers and sisters, to make us welcome. First, we give honor to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Without the guidance, without the leading of the Holy Spirit, without the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, then we would not have been here this evening together as a district, as a Vendevon district of churches in this format to meet and to really celebrate Jesus Christ. So we give honor to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I want to recognize, I want to recognize the minister who works with me on the Glen Devon District of Churches. We work together as a unit. There's no bigger you are me. We are one as we seek to carry out the mandate of Almighty God on the Glen Devon District of Church. So I want to pause long enough to recognize the minister we have from the Conroe Court New Testament Church of God the Reverend Paulette Powell, and we greet her and her family. We also have from the Salt Spring Church, Reverend Carl Wisdom, we greet him, we greet his family also, and at the Lilliput New Testament Church of God, Reverend Howard Nelson, and we greet him and his family. I want to say welcome to all the congregants of the district, the Vendevon District of Churches, the brethren from the Lilliput, Salt Spring, Cornwall Court, and the Glen Devon New Testament Church of God. I want to say welcome to you all. We want to welcome all the others who are in the diaspora and members who have joined us from all over the globe. Um, there are those who are with us who are not of the Glen Devon District of Churches either locally or in the diaspora, but they have joined us. Whatever congregation you have joined us from this evening, I would love for you to know, we have not taken it for granted, but we really appreciate and we really want to express to you our 
profound and sincere gratitude for taking the time out to join the Vendevon District of Churches in our Believers Week. We want to recognize this evening's speaker in the person of the Reverend Kevin Page, our National Youth and Discipleship Director, and also our past, immediate past parish coordinator. He will be hearing more as he come to speak to us. So we want to say welcome to each and everyone. We would have loved to say sit back, relax, especially that you are most are in the confines of your personal home, your personal space, but we don't want you to relax. We want you to keep the attitude of worship. We want you to recognize that we are in the presence of Almighty God. So I want us to be conscious of that as we worship God throughout the week, and especially as we start this evening, we keep this atmosphere and this attitude of worship. So as I say welcome to all, let me trust that you are feeling welcome. And also the task is mine, ladies and gentlemen, to declare this Believers Week open to the glory and honor of Almighty God. We declare it open for the invasion of the Holy Spirit. And we pray that souls will be blessed. Souls will be revived. People will be saved. Those who have not yet known Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. It is a prayer of our hearts that as you tune in to this week of um, Believers Week, it, it's dubbed Believers Week, but I would love for each and every one to make sure you share and invite. Share the link with some family members, some friends, some co-workers, some long down the line generation, but invite someone to join us on these platforms because we are sure that there is a word for everyone who will join us. So we are trusting, as I declare this week open, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we declare Believers Week 2021 of the Glen Devon New Testament Church of God District of Church is open to the glory and honor of Almighty God. Let us continue to praise, glorify, and honor the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God bless you as you continue to worship Almighty God. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Back to our evening's moderator, the Reverend Award Nelson. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, we give God thanks. We give God thanks. We give God thanks for his goodness and for his mercies towards us. Indeed, our God is worthy to be praised. Amen. Amen. Our God is worthy to be praised. Brothers and sisters, our Believers Week is open. We want to give God thanks for our district overseer as he has just come and brought us welcome welcoming us um, right where we are in as a district together as we are here to worship and to magnify the name of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we are getting to that time when we will hear the word of the Lord from his servant who will be sharing with us tonight. And I will introduce him. But right after I introduce him, we're going to be inviting the Salt Spring New Testament Church to share a special item with us. And right after they have finished share, then we will welcome our guest speaker for tonight. Brothers and sisters, for tonight, our guest speaker is the Reverend, the Reverend Kevin Page. Now, Reverend Page is a, has been a Christian for over 23 years. He is an ordained bishop in the New Testament Church of God. And Reverend Page has served um, the church and the people of God in many different areas. He has served as a member of the National Youth and uh, Christian Education and Discipleship Board before. He also pastors and, uh, and served as district overseers um, in different um, capacities. Also, he, well, he 
was our immediate past parish coordinator. Um, he was also a member of the executive council um, here in Jamaica. And currently, Reverend Page serves as the youth and discipleship director of the New Testament Church of God here in Jamaica. Reverend Page is an uh, educator and he continues to be a man of the word. He, he, he got his bachelor's degree in theology in a minor in counseling at the Bethel Bible College. He went on and studied for his master's in, in theology and he is currently pursuing his doctoral studies. Reverend Page is married to his beautiful wife, Raquel, and the union has produced two children, Gabriel and Joshua. Reverend Page continues to be a man who cares a lot and loves um, young people and in, in, in how he serves. And he has a special plan and a special place in his heart to reach our boys, young boys and men. Brothers and sisters, right after the, Glen, the, the Salt Spring New Testament Church um, comes with this special item, then we will hear from the man of God who will be bringing the word to us tonight, Bishop Kevin Page. At this time, the Salt Spring New Testament Church of God with a special item. Bless you. We must change the way we walk. We must change the way we talk. We must live a life that's pleasing to our King. King. We must preach God's holy word. Let His praises be heard. Lord, just be pleased. Lord, just be pleased. Lord, just be pleased. Lord, just be pleased. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. At this time, we are going to be invited to put our hands together and make welcome our speaker for tonight, Bishop Kevin P. It takes a little bit. Just give me one minute. Let me adjust this camera so we have a better view so he can speak. Just give me a minute, please. It's not much better, but I mean, it's so a lot better than, it's a little better than before. My brothers and sisters, let me say thank you very much, Reverend Nelson. You have been a good friend and a brother of mine as you moderate and lead this evening's activity. God bless you and add his grace to your life and also to your wife as well, Mr. Kiona uh, uh, Nelson. May God bless you. I must greet our district overseer, Bishop. Ralston Powell. I have great admiration for Bishop Powell. He's a great servant of God, a very disciplined man, very reliable, cordial, and you know, somebody I could always rely on during my time as parish coordinator for all support and help in so many areas. And I've never declined. Solid advice, great wisdom. I never forget to Bishop Powell. You have impacted my life and may God bless you. Thank you very much. And in the same vein, I give my heartiest regard also to Reverend Paulette Powell, who has been doing a tremendous job at the Carnival Sport, you know, a very serious uh, servant of God, working very hard to ensure that that community stays vibrant and in the will of God. Congratulations, Sister Powell, Powell, and the work that you're doing. I greet my brother and friend, of course, um, Carl, you know, a good friend of mine, play a lot of football and games together and all of those things. But no call for some time now. And my years at Bethel, Carl and I, you know, Bishop Wisdom and myself, you know, been very close um, at, at this church in Manchester and uh, working and just at Broadleaf and just being together. Reverend Wisdom is just a down to earth virgin, very good friend. God bless you and bless the congregations as well. The Lilliput congregation, the Glen Devon congregation, and also Salisbury and Cornwall congregation. We I give greetings in behalf of my wife and now we are happy for the work that has been done in those communities. Greetings, my brothers and sisters, and this Zoom platform and those on Facebook, YouTube, or wherever else you're doing from. I give you my heartiest greetings and may God bless you. Thank you, Bishop, for the vision that you have of bringing all those churches that you supervise together for a time of district fellowship and praising and worshiping God. And I do not want to talk too long because I've observed the protocol in terms of the time and I'm well aware. So my brothers and sisters, let me raise with you tonight. Bishop wants to ensure that people keep coming on. So it's not long and drawn out. So let me see if I can stay within that vein, just the same, but bring your word from the Lord, my God and Savior. Let's look at Genesis chapter 26. As we are serving together in discipline, um, courage, and hope. Let's look at Genesis chapter 26, verse 12 to 25. I'll read in your hearing. Isaac planted crops in that land. And the same year reaped hundredfold, because the Lord blessed him. The man became rich, and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. He had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines envied him. Advance had dug in the time of his father, Abraham. In the time of his father, Abraham, the Philistines stopped up, filled them with earth. Then Abimelech said to Isaac, Move away from us. You have become too powerful for us. So Isaac moved away from there and then camped in the valley of Gerar. There he settled. Isaac reopened the wells that had been dug in the time of his father, Abraham with the Philistines had stopped up after Abraham died. And he gave them the same name his father had given them. Isaac's servants dug in the valley and discovered a well of fresh water there. But the herds of Gerar, the herders of Gerar quarreled with those of Isaac and said, the water is ours. So he named the well Essek because they disputed with him. Then they dug another well, but they quarreled over also, so he named it Sitnah, 
the, he moved and from there and dug another well. And no one quarreled over it. He named it Rehoboth, saying, Now the Lord has given us room, and we flourish in the land. From there he went up to Beersheba. That night the Lord appeared to him and said, I am the God of your father, Abraham. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bless you and will increase the number of your descendants for the sake of my servant, Abraham. Isaac built an altar there and called on the name of the Lord there. He pitched his tent and there his servants dug a well. Our brothers and sisters, the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, O oh God, our righteous Savior, our hope of eternal salvation. Tonight, Lord, we humbly come before God. We have no merit or ground on which to come except through the name and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Oh God, we are aware of our own shortcomings, our own filthiness, Lord, our own righteousness, which is as fit the rags. Oh God Almighty, and in many times we have offended you. Oh God, we pray for forgiveness. We pray that you'll blot out our transgressions and all our sins of any father. Lord, as we confess to you tonight that you alone are righteous, you alone are upright and perfect, and there's no other God except you. We pray that, Lord, you will take control as you have already done and finish this meeting. You have begun a good work. Oh, God, you will complete it, Heavenly Father. I pray that your hands will be upon me as it has always been, and that, God, your spirit will guide me. Flesh will be crucified. Self will be slain beneath the foot of the cross. Jesus will be glorified in every home and in every heart at this time. And that God Almighty, the devil, be still be silent and know that you are God. Take, oh God Almighty, our minds, our intellect, our spirit, oh God, conform all of those to your will, Heavenly Father. May you be pleased, may you be glorified as we commit this time, Heavenly Father, of, of, of preaching your word into your hands. We give you praise and, and glory as the power of darkness is powerless before your name and your spoken word. We give you praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, it is an interesting text and a topic, of course, that serving together in discipline, courage, and hope. I realize right away that our bishop is onto the national theme. And my brothers and sisters, I want to hold our minds around those thoughts tonight as we talk about how. God expects us to be within the times of difficulties or we are to serve together, being disciplined people, people of and people of hope. My brothers and sisters, the Bible says to us, according to the text that was read, that Isaac uh, uh, planted in a land that was never his own. Or earlier, he would have left his land and was heading to another place, but God told him never to leave, but to stay put in that same very land. Because that land in truth was really his father's land, was um, given to them. But he was heading because of a famine. This was not the first famine in this land. There was also a famine in the time of Abraham. And Abraham would have been going away, but he had come to this place and he had lodged there. And God had blessed him and God had taken care of him in that same place. So here, the same thing that happened to his father, the same thing that happens to him, likewise, a famine came. And if you note, likewise, my brothers and sisters, the same temptation that took his father, Abraham, was the same temptation that took him also. Abraham had a beautiful wife. He thought the men would have killed him because of his his wife. Now Isaac had the same concern. Beautiful wife again. Time of famine again, just like his dad is Abraham. Come to a place again. Uh, his, he felt threatened. His life threatened because of his wife. And he had done the same thing that his daddy did. His daddy lied to the men around. And Isaac did the same thing, my brothers and sisters. But while Isaac did all of that, God was still with him, of course. And you know the story. He had gotten back his wife and life began to progress. And in a time when there were difficulties and challenges all around, the Bible says to us that this man, faith, this man who was disciplined, this man who was courage, and this man who was hope in the Lord Jesus Christ or, or planted my brothers and sisters and he had reaped a hundredfold in times of challenges but it did not come that 
easy, my brothers and sisters. There are there are difficulties, there are there are temptations and all of those. As we look in the text carefully, we see, my brothers and sisters, that obedience will keep you in the place of blessings, in the same land, the same soil, uh, the sunshine, all of those, they are the same thing that his daddy went through. And that was where God wanted him because that's the same place that God intended for him to stay, for him to build his discipline, for him to have that hope in him and to be courageous despite of the challenges that were on. There were severe challenges. These were, these were not made up. These were real and, and real adversaries in, in, in the men of Gerar and, 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 and those in the land. My brothers and sisters, the Bible says to us, my servant shall eat, but you will go hungry. Those who choose to disobey God and to go against God. In the time of famine, you shall be satisfied. It says Psalm 37 verse 19. That is a person that has his or her hope in God Almighty and have found courage to stand upon the word of God and to serve and work together. This district, my brothers and sisters, moving forward, doing the Lord's will, they must, you have to serve together. You have to keep that discipline, keep that hope, keep it together. My brothers and sisters, according to 1922, the Bible says that when he, when he, when the, the men drove him away because things were going so well for, for Isaac, but things were going so bad for the men of the land. The king drove him out of his place. He went to somewhere else, my brothers and sisters, in the same property and the same in the same country. Nevertheless, the Bible says to us that uh, while he, 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 he reopens the well, that is daddy dog, that Abraham dog, my brothers and sisters, we understand carefully or keenly that the, the discipline that it requires for a person to live in that kind of a context and to still hold on to God is brothers and sisters. Discipline is to regulate action for set results. Discipline is to regulate your action so you can get the desired results that you want. So you cannot say that you're a person of discipline and of courage and of hope and it's all system goes. Any means at any time. No, there are regulations, there are guidance through the word of the Almighty God, through leadership, through togetherness, and God will provide the, 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 the direction as to how we should go. No matter where we dig, the Bible tells us, no matter where in the wells were dug, mm -hmm, the, 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 where he dug a well, would be open up also uh, as it opens, as he digs, my brothers and sisters. Three times the Bible mentions that he dug and the place open up. And also the Philistines would throw dirt in the wells that he digs. Stay with me, church. I'm going to take you somewhere. Each time he digs a well, my brothers and sisters, the Philistines seen so dirt in the well. Oh, God Almighty, in a place that should be so dry, and you dig it up and you find water, why would you want to throw dirt in something like that? More than likely, it would be like you'll be celebrating because you become a beneficiary of that also. I want to say to you, my brothers and sisters, and this Glen Devon district, as you, as you, as you serve together in discipline, courage, and in hope, that the Lord God Almighty's blessing upon your life nothing will be able to hinder it. It doesn't matter what dirt they want to cast upon you. It doesn't matter what grind they want to cast upon you. Nothing can hinder the blessings of God upon the life of the believer that obey his word. They, they, they fill this place each time with dirt. But each time they fill it, it digs another place and water begins to come up. Or oh, that tells us that there's a that there's a flourishing, that there's a spring, that there's a that there's something uh God Almighty provide a refreshing, my brothers and sisters, for those who will remain in the way that He wants to lead them. Mm. Blessing on your life is sure. Here I see when they dug the first when the Bible says he calls it Essek. Essek because they quarrel over it. Isaac's servants dug in the valley and discovered a well fresh with water. But the herders of Gerar quarreled over those of Isaac. Mm -hmm. The water is ours, they complained. So he named the well Essek because they disputed with him. Oh God Almighty, listen to me, church. The man gave up every well they fought him for until the enemies become frustrated 
and cannot beat him any longer. I want to say to you that as you go and as you join together, as you work together, oh God, the enemy is going to be frustrated at the power that will come from you, from the discipline, from the courage that you stand up in the midst of adversity, oh God Almighty, and you are still serving God together. As you work, my brothers and sisters, as you serve God, mm -hmm. The enemies, oh God, are going to be frustrated because they find out that no matter what they do to you, you'll be still standing. I know your stand is because you're serving together, my brothers and sisters. Never forsake the assembling of yourselves together. Share ideas and thoughts together. Work together because the aggregate church is stronger than the average church. What do I mean? Oh God, the four churches and the district are, are, are stronger, my brothers and sisters, than any one of the church and the district. The four together. Oh God, what a mighty force that is, my brothers and sisters. The Bible says to us that that a, a, a two-fold a two card is hard to be broken, much more threefold, and you are four. It means that you're stronger. When you stand up together, you'll frustrate the enemy. Oh, God, Isaac frustrated the enemy. When they felt that you would have gotten down and out, my brothers and sisters, the servant of the Lord was just getting ready to go again, to go again, and to keep going. Because they quarrel over what he had there. Mm -hmm. He said, yes, all right, you're quarreling. You think your coil is your coil is some nest is gonna get me out? I'm going to go again. I am going to go again. Oh God Almighty, the church as a way, whenever it comes under pressure, it bonds together and becomes stronger. History would have shown us that. That when the church comes under pressure, when Glendiff and District comes under pressure, and you come together, you combine your resources and, your, and, and all your energy together, the Bible shows us and history tells us that greater things normally happen, my brothers and sisters. As he, as, 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 a, as a load that well again with dirt, the man went again and he, his servants dug another well. The oh God Almighty, this one, he faced serious opposition just this year. They quarrel with him. You know, they wanted it. And mark you, these are wells that his daddy had dug before. I'm going to raise a point with that a little later. These are wells that his father had dug before. The church, my brothers and sisters, keeps looking for something new when all we need is to just dig again the old wells. Oh, God Almighty, of our fathers. Oh, God, don't look for anything so new, my brothers and sisters, as you combine your, your strength and your energy and your resources together. Don't look for anything new. There's nothing new under the sun, church of the living God. Stay in the wells that your whole fathers and the church fathers have dug. The well, oh, God, that give a good spiritual life. God's people have depended on from the very beginning, my brothers and sisters, the word of God, dig into that old well always. Never let go of that old well, church of the living God. The prior, oh God Almighty, dig into the well of prior, same way. Worship, my brothers and sisters, see a church of the living God, the power of the spirit, dig into those wells, sacrificing, serving God, dig into those wells. Those are old wells that our old fathers have dug and have laid there, but the devil, oh God has brought dirt and sand and all sorts of things to block those up and to stop those because it Devil knows that when the children of God settles themselves, oh God Almighty, into the things of God and begin to work for the Almighty God, no power of evil will be able to stop you. Oh yes, Glendevan District of Churches, I say to you, you don't have to seek for anything new. Oh God, we have new enough Zoom now and all this technology. Oh, those only enhance what we had before. The same whole world of the world fathers, oh God Almighty. Those are still good, church of the living God, to get us through these troubled times, to carry us through. I'm not against new stuff, my brothers and sisters, but there are some foundational principles and things about the church that we must continue to hold to. We must continue, my brothers and sisters, to serve God through sacrifice. Wells that we have allowed the enemy to fill up. We 
ever deal, there's been revival of spiritual power in history of the church. It's been because somebody has dug again the old well. I want to say to us and this call tonight, dig again, man. Dig again. Oh, God Almighty, you feel frustrated. Dig again. Oh, God, you feel oh, hopeless. I say to you, dig again. There is hope in digging in, God. Dig again. Don't get hopeless. Do not put down your hand. Do not feel that like the church cannot grow during COVID time. Oh, God, Charles Dickens says it's the best of time and it's the worst of time. This pastor is telling you that we have all that we want. Oh, God, for the church to continue to serve together and to grow strong and powerful. Because the excellency is not of us, my brothers and sisters. Listen to me, Glenn Devon. The power is of the Almighty God. Oh, yes, church of the living God. It's the best of time and it's the worst of time. Oh, but we know that our God is able to do exceedingly, above, abundantly, that which we can even think or ask of him. Because the power lies in him. My brothers and my sisters, listen to me, church of the living God. Dig again. Don't become frustrated. Do not give up hope. Don't put down your hand. Dig again. Call unto the Lord again. My God Almighty, we have seen so often in scriptures where people come under pressure. Oh God, but they have not given up. But there are so many different pages, I say to you, church of the living God. Hold on and dig again. Again, pray again. Oh God, fast again. Shout to God again. Draw near to God again. Oh God, if this district is going to keep its synergy and keep going together, oh God Almighty, the old things do as well. Mm -hmm. The oppositions at your face, do not put on your hands in the midst of the opposition, but stand fast in the liberty where with Christ Jesus had made you free. Do not again be entangled in the yoke of bondage. We know that there are so many of our people who are falling away in this time because of poor doctrine. Um, um, some people just walk away because of so many different things. But listen to me, church of the living God. You must stand up in the midst of your sickness when it's your dirt and grime. Oh, God, and trash, Lord Jesus, and debris. And you, oh, God Almighty, this Glen Devon district of churches must stand up. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Yes, and in the midst of this opposition, we're standing up for God together because we're stronger as we move together in discipline, courage, and with hope. Now, brothers and sisters, I watch the text carefully, and I see it. I see carefully in the text that as he dug the well, they are filled up. And, 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 and you would have thought that you would have become discouraged. But he never became discouraged. He sought for the old part. And he had walked the other way, according to Jeremiah 6, 16. And the Bible tells us a little part that we must be walked therein and be perfect. I watched church of the living God when he had dug once and he dug twice and they did it to him. Never put down his hand. Church, do not give up. Do not put down your hand. Work together. Live together. Oh, God Almighty, pray together. Stay together. Serve God together. Watch this church of the living God. He dug once, twice. Essek and uh, Sitna. Oh, God Almighty, now he comes to a point where he said, all right, they have done all those to me, but I'm still going to go another time. Here, church, we saw in the text that the man's servant, he moved according to verse 22. And from there and dug another well, and no one quarreled over it. He named it Rehoboth, saying, the Lord has given us room, and we will flourish. Oh, God Almighty. The King James Bishop, he said, King James said that we will be fruitful. Oh, God Almighty, church, of the living God. Yes, sir. God has a place for you in the land of challenge, in the time of difficulty, in the time, oh God Almighty, of sporadic and answer, behavior and uncertainty. God has a plan and a work for his children. Hear me, my brothers and sisters. The man dug it and he said, now I am fruitful. Now I'm going to flourish. He said, now God has placed me in a 
broad place. That's what it means. Or in other words, he said, no, I can branch off. That's what it means. You can branch off. You're not on a street anymore. God has placed on a boulevard and a plaza. That's what it means. A big thing here in the church. My brothers and my sisters, this is a time it is difficult. Yes, sir. But it was in this time that Isaac sold and he reaped a hundredfold. In the time of challenge, the children of God must hold on to the courage and the hope that God has placed in their lives. Because your power is in God, we cannot think or behave like the world. Oh God, they said that the world food is coming to a food crisis presently. Everything in the supermarkets, the prices are heightened. One container, they said, it used to come from China for 300,000. Now it's 1.5 million for it to come. When it comes, it goes back empty, or it, come, or it comes and pick up something, and it, it comes empty, it goes back. Uh, loaded. Whatever way it is, my brothers and sisters, serious challenges. The World Health Authority, everybody is predicting a gloom and a doom and struggle and problem. But we, the children of God, Glendevan District Church of God, is saying, my brothers and sisters, listen to me. In this time of famine, there's a rehoboth, there's a wide space, there's a room that God is making for you. God is opening up broad places. God is removing some things. Yes, a church of the living God. Everything must not look peachy cream and nice and dandy all the time. That loses the mind that takes away the faith and the courage that you should have in God. But when we're in the midst of difficulties and challenges and we stand up still and we say, we are going to bond together because we're going to move together. We are going to stay in the courage that God gives us. I guarantee that we will see the hand of the Almighty God. Yes, sir, there's a world food crisis coming on. The bills are high. Everything just more to pay these days. But what are we going to do? Are we going to throw down our hands? Are we going to say, Lord, we'll roll over and die? Isaac in the time of famine gets a hundredfold for his service and labor. I am putting it to the church. Still labor for God. Labor for winning soul. Don't give up at all. Preach the evangelical gospel, oh God Almighty. Witness to the young people, oh God. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that are happening in the West presently. When you look and you, and you observe all the tragedies and all of those things that come from there, my brothers and sisters, oh, it is enough to make you disheartened and to put down hands and feel bad as pastors and bad as church members, bad as people from the West. Or well, let me tell you something, that God Almighty is with you in this time of difficulty, embarrassment and tragedy. Oh God, still so, still do what God wants you to do. Don't give up. Don't be disheartened. Yes, sir. Still do what the Lord, your master, has called you to do. It's a time for your room. God is so ironic in his work. In a time when nothing should happen, is a time when God is telling you that may I go make something happen for you. Hmm? In a time when, when Isaac should be in, in wants and need, God said, look here, the man, a room I'm giving you. As a matter of fact, the man dig dry land in a famine and water has spring up to him. Everywhere he dig, water spring up to him. Oh, God Almighty, at this time, in the time of famine, God gave him a hundredfold than what he sold. God double up everything for him. I saw God working on people in life. Have courage, have faith in God. Stand up for God. Oh, God, be disciplined. You can't be undisciplined. You can't be running up and down. You know, some people hopping and skipping from church is easiest. Bishop, I don't know. Um, oh, Reverend Nelson, if you probably find the same thing, that um, you have some members, you know, 99 churches ago now. God Almighty, and they died at 99 churches. I am saying to us at Glendevan District of Churches, I am not saying that you can't view another man page, but be faithful to the Glendevan Church, be faithful to the Lilliput Church. Oh, God Almighty, be faithful to South Spring Church, be faithful to Cornwall Court Church, those churches that have been taking care of and feeding you. Now we can go to meet millions, literally, of churches across the world. But I am saying to us, stay with the church that has been supporting you and helping you know, stay with the church and pastors that have been praying over you. Don't bother with the new car business. Oh God, be disciplined as you look forward to that good end. Keep digging. It is through hard service, difficult tasks, challenging forces that you will get to work together in this life. 
Life and ministry are full of difficulties, trials, and testing, and temptation. Still, God, still do God's work. The wells your fathers open up. God will, oh, the enemies are start fill them, but God will open them for his glory and honor in your life. My brothers and sisters, I'm so soon come home because I understand the context of his service. I'm coming home. Hear, hear what I found out. That burdens and battles and blessings are found in services to God. That despite what the, the servant of the Lord faced, note carefully, he maintained that discipline life. He still continues on the path that he knows was right. He had to be courageous because the men that he faced, he could have never defeated those men, had those men really wanted to fight him. As a matter of fact, they threw him out. <coughs> Sorry, they threw him out from their presence. So he had to have courage, my brothers and sisters. And when they threw him out, what, what else do you feel? Hope must be there. How am I going to live? How are things going to happen for me? This servant of the Lord provides a model. He and his family, they all got together with discipline and courage and hope in the Lord. Hear me, my brothers and sisters. The songman says, if I walk in the pathway of duty, if I work till the close of the day, Lord, I shall see the great king in all his beauty. When I have gone the last mile of the way, yes, sir, yes, Lord. When I have gone the last mile, oh, yeah, I shall rest at the close of the day. For I know that there are joy awaiting me when I've gone that way. If there, if we're for Christ to proclaim the glad story, oh, Lord, if I see for a sheep who have gone, seek for a sheep who have gone astray, oh Lord, I am sure he will show me his glory. When you have gone the last mile of the way, serving your God, working together, believing and trusting in him. Let me wrap up nicely. In verse 20, 23, 25, God appeared to him. Oh God Almighty. My brothers and sisters, know something carefully. Whenever the servant of the Lord is always afraid, afraid, fearful, discouraged, in a bad situation, God has always appeared to them. Look through the entire Bible and see. When Abraham was worried about him who have any children, God appeared to him. When Ezekiel was worried about what's happening to him and his family, God appeared to him. When, when Elijah was down and out and fretting, God appeared to him. When David said, you know, Saul is going to kill me, God appeared to him. And I can name several others. So I know that in the time and the moments of the weakness of the church, it is a time that God has always appeared to his, to his servant. Now God wanted to encourage him and to strengthen him. That day his servant came and told him and said, yes, I have gotten all this done and there's another well that he has done. And this one they call it Beersheba, uh, Sheba, which means, my brothers and sisters, the well of oath, our sevenfold oath. So God appeared to him to strengthen his faith, to give him hope, to say to him, listen to me, Isaac, I know I have seen the treatment. I have seen how they have dealt with you, but I am coming now to you so you will have hope in me, so you will have courage. I will, I will, I will help you. And not just on leave you at Rehoboth, but I'm going to open a sevenfold kind of a kind of a blessing for you. When the Bible speaks of well, well figuratively, you know what I mean. It's a, it's a kind of blessing, a kind of God open up things to prosper and to help you. God said to him, listen to me, take this down. I am opening up this down for you. Church of the living God, in this time of difficulty, in this time of fear, in this time of challenge, in this time of frustration, anxiety, depression, and oppression from the enemy, I am saying to the church at Glendevan, stay together, stay with the discipline and with the courage that God gives to you, and with the hope that this too shall pass, that God Almighty is going to carry you through. God will see you through, my brothers and sisters. Yes, Isaac demonstrated all of that. He was there with his family. Mm -hmm. Oh, he maintained that discipline life. He walked in the pathway of the Almighty God. He stayed with God. And we see where he become discouraged, our last courage that God had to come to him and speak to him and uplift him and cause him to recognize that continue to dig, continue to move forward, press ahead in this challenging time. And there's a hope that one day is going to be done.
and the hope was provided, my brothers and sisters, that no, me not just going to even give you a wide room now, but I'm going to give you another one. I'm going to give you a Beersheba, sevenfold oath. That's in there now. God is going to do a great thing. I believe that God is going to do a great thing for you, my brothers and sisters, for the rest of these nights. As you continue to serve God and to move ahead in this believers week, I am saying to you, do not put down your hand. Work together in discipline, courage, and hope. Just dig again because God is coming through for you. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. Thank you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We worship the Lord together, brothers and sisters. Dig again. It does not matter how times look rough or how the time seems hard. We can make it. We just trust in the Almighty God and we continue to press on. Try again. Dig again. Work again. Do it again, man. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to give God thanks for his word to us. Oh, God. People might come and fill up the hole. They, they see what you are trying to do and all that you're trying to achieve for the Almighty God. And the devil send somebody to come to try to stop the work. He, he will send a sambalat, oh God Almighty, to try and stop the work. I send somebody to stop the work. But together we can make it. Together we are able to do it, man. Dig again, brothers and sisters. Dig again. Hallelujah. Dig again, man. Uh, we give God thanks for the word. Just worship the Almighty God right where you are. Hallelujah. We give God thanks for his word. Hallelujah. We will not go under. There is a Rehoboth that is right around the corner. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Yes, man. Rehoboth is right around the corner. Time of prosperity and for us to branch out and to expand. Oh, hallelujah. We're going big again, even in this pandemic. Ah, oh, God, if we continue to work together, we might open another church uh, for the district. We might preach out another area. We might add somewhere else. There are some people out there who need to know God. Oh, we must continue to work, man. Hallelujah. God is good. Dig again, brothers and sisters. Dig again. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Indeed, God is worthy. Blessing is awaiting us. Prosperity is awaiting us. Expansion is awaiting us. Oh, God Almighty. Bishop Powell, I don't think we need a better start than tonight. Ah, oh, God, we have, the, the, we, we have been given. Ah, oh, God, the, the authority to continue on tonight, to go on throughout the rest of this week. Dig again, brothers and sisters. Dig again. Oh, hallelujah. We want to give God thanks for Bishop Kevin Page for coming and sharing uh, the word of the Lord with us. Indeed, we are grateful. We are thankful. And we, we know that the Lord has sent this word for us. It don't matter what they want to do. It don't matter who they are or what they want to try. They're not split the district. They're not dis disenfranchise the district. We are together and we will work together. So we're going big. We're going big together. We're going push forward together, everybody working together, accomplishing that which the Lord has in store for us. Brethren, I want us to recognize that I know that the Lord that we serve is with us and he will carry us through. Dig again, dig again, dig again, man. Oh, hallelujah. We must dig again. Uh, Brethren, I, uh, before we, we, we go into prayer, I, I want, we have, we had over 100, we had 100 persons on this line and there are others who are joined us on, on YouTube and, and some of us are attached to churches on the district while some are elsewhere. But Bridget, I want us, even as we work together, as we build together, as we come together, I, 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 I want tonight that, that um, if throughout from tonight to about Wednesday, to a, from tonight to about Wednesday night, I want at least 50, at least, you know, I want at least 50 persons who is on here and hearing to pledge a thousand dollars, at least 50 persons I want tonight 
to, to dedicate that my offering uh, tonight is a thousand dollars. I want another fifty who at least who would say I would give five hundred dollars. Bridging, we, we we want to give as we build together, as we, we we continue as a district. We have the plans, we have the things that we want to push forward with. And yes, we know just like how we are building, just like how we are going on. Yes, it takes finances, but we know that the Lord will bless and the Lord will keep us. So I want some people. You can indicate in the chat. You can message your pastor privately. You can you can send something throughout and just declare that listen, this is my offering. We will arrange collecting it and, and putting it together because we know we know that that, that 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 we will be able to reach there and to be able to get there, brothers and sisters. So you can send it through. You can write it in the chat. You can send it in a message. You can just email your pastor, or send it, and and at some point in time. They will provide the banking information. If you want to just lodge it, you lodge it right from where you are at um, to the account. But we know, we know, we know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know. I see Sister Anne-Marie White who says that she's in Atlanta, Georgia. Ah, oh, God. We will provide the bank account um, that you will be able to, to send from, do a direct transfer from overseas to the account and we will receive it out here and we will get the information to you in how we are going to do this brothers and sisters we want to give god thanks send in the pledges i see the pledges coming in we want to give god thanks and, and before we go i'm going to ask our bishop bishop powell just to breathe a word of prayer for the word that we have received and over the man of god who have just ministered to us. When they ask him to pray for us and to pray for the servant of the Lord um, at this time, as we as we as we put everything into, into the, the hand of the Almighty God, for indeed he is a good God. Bishop Powell, at this time, just let us pray for us um, at this time. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this evening. We thank you, God, for your servant, the Bishop Kevin Page, who has opened up himself to hear from you. And Lord, humbled himself to be led by your Holy Spirit. And Lord, as he was available and able to be used by you, you have used him this evening, Lord, to share your word to us as we start our Believers Week under the theme, serving together through discipline and courage and hope. Lord, we are conscious of the fact that whenever any one of your servants, Lord, has done great, the enemy will always want to show up because the enemy will always want to create doubt or, Lord, do something that is against your will, something, God, that will bring discouragement and Lord for your servants to question. But as I pray for your man servant this evening, I pray almighty God in the name of your son Christ Jesus that Lord a fresh anointing will be on his life. I pray great God Jehovah that another coverage will come from you that you will sustain him by your sustaining grace and your mercy. And Lord, as the hen gather her chicks under her wing, even so, almighty God, I pray you will cover him under your feathers. I pray you will cover his family. I pray, Lord, that you will continue to order his steps in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, as he continues to lead the department of the youth department, that, Lord, you will continue to guide him. Let the Holy Spirit be his guide. Lord, let the Holy Spirit minister to him. Help him, Lord, to continue to avail himself to 
Lord, hear from you and to be used by you. And Lord, we pray that no weapon uh, of the adversary, no weapon that is formed will ever come to fruition. But God, you will be with him. And as David, identify you as a shepherd. Even so, Lord, you will join with the psalmist this evening to say the Lord is my shepherd. Lord, help him to continue to hunger and thirst after righteousness because as your word declares, they that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. I pray, God Almighty, that you will fill him up afresh. Oh, great God, remove any cloud of doubt. And Lord, help him to be resolute in his stand for you, in his stand against the negative. We realize to lead in this time is very challenging, but I pray, great God, that just as we encourage us from your word to dig again like Isaac, I pray, God, that the, the word will be applicable to him also because, Lord, we know that the enemy, whenever he sees success is coming, that, Lord, he will throw dirt, dirt of every different type, every different nature, Lord, and he will pile on dirt, dirt of accusation, dirt of doubt, of discouragement, of frustration. But we come this evening in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We come against every dirt that the enemy will throw God. And Lord, we realize that, Lord, that which you are pulling away, that which you dig away, Isaac dug the well for good. But it is the same dirt that he dug out of the well. It was the same dirt, God, that the enemy pours back in so that God Almighty, which we try to get rid of, that's what the enemy will come back at us with. But we are standing resolute this evening in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are standing on the promises of Almighty God. Lord, as you said to, Mo, to Joshua, Moses, my servant is dead. It's just time for you to get up and go ahead, take his children across the Jordan. But as I was with Moses, even so I will be with you, help him to rest God and the assurance of your presence. Help him to rest on the assurance that not only that you are present with him, but Lord, you will give him the victory. As you said to Joshua, wherever he planted his feet, it will become his. Help him, Lord, to move forward under the authority and the power of the Holy Spirit. Being confident, God, that when you are with him, God, you're able to tunnel through his mouth. With him, he's able to cross over his Jordan. Oh, God Almighty, Jordan will back up once he plants his feet on the brink of Jordan. We come against God, the rivers of inundation, that you will not be inundated by these rivers. We pray, God, that when the fire comes, that there are times he has to go through the fire, but he can rest with the assurance that, God, because you are with him, the fire will not burn. The fire will not, the flame will not kindle upon him. He will not even smell of the smoke of the fire. Because surely goodness and mercy shall follow him. We pray, Lord God, for his family. Lord, we pray that you'll cover them. Comprehensive coverage. We pray, God, that you'll open avenues of blessings and protection physically, spiritually, financially. Lord, speak into his spirit one more time. We pray for this district of churches, the Glen Devon district of churches. The Lord, as we receive your word, that as we serve together, there are times when we have to go to dig again. So help us, Lord, to take courage 
not to become discouraged, not to be dismayed, not to be despondent by the adversary. Let us be cognizant of the fact that we cannot stop the adversary from working. But Lord, we can put up a defense. We continue to move. So help us to be courageous, God, that the works of the adversary will not deter us, will not prevent us from serving. So Lord, when we dig and the enemy put up roadblock, we'll dig again. We get deeper because there are deeper depths and higher heights. We give you the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 We give God thanks. We give God thanks for his goodness and his mercy. Amen. God is good. Ah, oh, we give God thanks for his word. My 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 brother and friend. Brethren, we thank you for sharing with us and this district. We truly appreciate you, you taking the time out and to minister the word that the Lord has placed on your heart. Yes, we will continue to push on and to press on, dig again, because we know. And, 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 and I want somebody to recognize, you know, that in the time of famine, Isaac reaped a hundredfold, oh God Almighty, and a 10% increase, you know, but 100-fold he, he was able to reap in the time. So when everybody else has suffered, Isaac crops are prosper, ah oh God Almighty. Bridget, we serve a God who will carry us through, even in this pandemic, even in our struggles, even in our challenges. We serve a God who will cause us to flourish and to prosper even when things don't seem like it are right. We give God thanks. We give God thanks. We give God thanks for he is indeed a good God. Regina and friends, tonight we have had a wonderful time in the Lord. We have heard wonderful singing. We have heard praying. And the word of the Lord has come to our hearts. And indeed, we are happy. We are happy that the Lord is able to, to lead us. We give God thanks for his servant whom he has used to minister to us. I give God thanks for all the churches and all the pastors and ministers. Those who are visiting as well are just tuned in because somebody sent the link. We thank you for joining us tonight. Brothers and sisters, this is just the start. This is just the start. We have the rest of this week, Monday through to Friday at 7 p.m. We will be gathered together again and we will worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords as we continue in this or believers week, as we continue in this, in this, in this theme, serving together in discipline, courage, and hope, brothers and sisters, we have a hope in Christ Jesus. We have courage in Christ Jesus. And we're going to be disciplined as brothers and as believers of the living God. So as we continue throughout this week, I ask that you will tune in with us tomorrow night as we hear the undiluted word of the Lord, as we worship together in the beauty of holiness. Tune in on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And brethren, I want you to understand that next week, Sunday the 31st, we will culminate our believers week with a district praise event the strictly praise and worship my god almighty reverend powell i tell you, you know when we do the recording for the praise event you know if it was live boy if if, if we never if we never get a hold of ourselves i'll know we're still there a, 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 a record because the presence of the lord was there and bridget you cannot afford to miss when we close out our district event with that time of praise and worship i implore you continue to give continue to pray for our, our district. Continue to pray for the events that we have going forward. Continue to, to do all that you can. Your support and also finances as we seek 
to, to, to enhance each other and to grow as, 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 as a district and as believers and as brethren and friends. Brothers and sisters, we, we give God thanks. I'm going to invite our district overseer if he has any final words for us tonight and then to pronounce us and to close us out for tonight and then we will join back together tomorrow as we worship the Lord again. Bishop Powell at this time. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Praise God. I I'm quite sure that everyone would have loved to have an opportunity to open their mics and to you know, give a shout out of praise to the Most High God. So I give you uh, 30 seconds to unmute your mind. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank Bishop Page. You know, the moderator has done so. But you know, it's Sunday evening. He could have been rested. But he has really given us his time and um, what an evening it has been. All those who have participated in this evening's uh, procedure program, we give God the glory and honor. We say thank you. My brothers and sisters, the, those Reverend Nelson has thrown out the, the appeal for those who would love to, um, you know, make a pledge, the minimum of $1,000. If you, you can make contact with any one of us as ministers, or you can, um, the, the, I am not sure if the account number was posted. It's a BNS Bank, um, the Glen Devon New Testament Church of God District. And it's 601-452-601-452. 601 uh, that's the BNS Bank of Nova Scotia. It's at the Fairview branch. And if you donate, please send us the, the receipt so that we can identify you. And, you know, we, we, we really continue. We look forward to meet with you again on these various platforms. Can you raise your hand again? We want to say thanks to everybody. Raise your hands as we do the benediction. The blessings of Almighty God be with you. The blessings of God surround you and may you be strengthened, preserved, and be guided by the blessings of Almighty God. No one to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible. The only wise God, the honor, dominion, majesty, and power, now and forevermore. God bless you. You are blessed. Have a great night. See you tomorrow evening, if God tarries thus long. And it is Israel for us to meet again on these platforms. Please join us. Send the link to some other friends, some other family, and make sure you are on time, on spot. God bless you. Have a great night, everybody. Bless you. We're going forward. Away. Oh God, he rolled the sea away. Hey, he rolled the sea away. He rolled the sea away. He rolled the sea away.